Welcome back to another review. I thought I'd take a look in more detail at the X-Star VC4 charger. I already did a comparison video with this and the D4. I just wanted to concentrate on the X-Star charger for this video and go into a bit more detail on this particular model because it's quite a popular charger. Now you might notice that the white box is different to the previous ones. It's just their 10 year anniversary edition. So ones after that will be white. You'll see it also supports the 21 and 2700 cells, but those are unprotected cells. Most chargers don't support the protected cells. And just a quick look at the back, some of the features, we've got the activation, three stage charging, and it was also compatible with nickel metal hydride and nickel metal cadmium, as well as the 3.7 volt lithium ion. You do get the travel pouch with this. This has a lining inside, so it will help protect the charger if you're traveling with it. You can also put the cable in there, and it has a plastic finish on the outside, so it should have a degree of water resistance or moisture resistance. You do get the included barrel adapter cable with the USB tip and that is about one meter in length. But you can also use your own tips with adapters if you have one, have multi-adapter, make sure you use the 5 volt though. So a quick look at the included instructions, there's your warranty, you get two year warranty on this charger. And this goes through some of the features and operation. I'll show you the operation myself, so it's worth having a look at this. You can pause that if you want to. Always worth reading the manual on the chargers. And this part's kind of important because it tells you the charging speeds um, with regards to the cells and the bays that you're using. So if you're using the outer bays, you get one amp for each one. If you're using more than that, or the center ones, you get the half an amp charging. And I've put the sizes of the unit on the screen. These are my own measurements that I've taken. You can see the outer base are larger and there's your input for the barrel style adapter. You want to have a decent amperage going into that. On the back section here we can see the list out the cells again, the cell types and the silicone pads and ventilation slots on the case. This is one of those chargers that I've never actually found gets anything other than very slightly warm. Um, that's always been a feature with this charger. It always keeps the batteries very cool and I've never had any issues with heat on this. A quick close-up look at the rails. You can see the slot length. I measured at 71.5. So you'd be able to fit most cells in there apart from those protected uh, 20 and 21 700s. And you've got raised contact points. And note the bays are marked with the charging speeds. So if you want to charge at half amp, use the center ones. If you want to charge at one amp, use the outer ones. Very simple charger, you just have the single button there in the middle and I'll just show you connecting the barrel style adapter. It wouldn't be my choice of tip, but there you go, we'll come on to that later on. So to get the fastest charging speeds, you're going to need a decent uh, USB adapter because you don't get one included. I put some information on the screen with general speeds that you might get off of typical USB ports. So bear that in mind, you'll need something um, 2.1 amps or above to get the best charging speed. Because you have the wider base, it's not the smallest charger out there, but it does allow you to fit the uh, larger cells, C, C cells, D cells, and the 26 and um, 650s, which I have here. You can fit three of those, although your charging speed is going to drop down to half an amp if you're using more than the two bays. Just booting up the charger, you'll see all of the display come on, and then it will set itself to the normal display which will give you an indication of the voltage that the battery is and it's the charging speed in the middle so it's quite a simple display but quite intuitive you'll see that the last digit flashes on the milliamps an hour that's telling you that it's charging and you also have the green and red LEDs so if they're green nothing's inserted or it's finished charging and red means that it is charging so simple and intuitive you'll notice with the nickel metal hydride the scale goes up to 1.5 whereas it's up to 4.2 for the lithium ion cells so the display will change depending on the type of battery that you've got then all you have to do is just press the center button to move between the different displays because it will only show uh, detailed information for two but you do still have the charging indicators on the LEDs personally I don't have a problem with that because you do have enough information that's shown on the screen and you'll be able to see even with the display off that the cells are charging or charged and it will auto dim after a couple of minutes as power saving feature on this particular model if you press it again then it will come on or if you insert another cell the display will come back on again 
just going to insert a few different cells here and I've put this X-Star battery in the wrong way around reverse polarity protection so you see the error come up there and it won't attempt to charge it at all so this is a very safe charger to use even if you do silly things like reverse cells inside you can't do any real damage at all with this charger you'll see here even with the display off you'll be able to see that it's charging although the backlight is off there is the display still there but it depends on the light that you have the ambient light so if I just shine a torch on the display you'll be able to see that it's still there and it's still working away so if you have a bit of light you'll be able to turn the display off if you want to generally I just leave it on myself but if you have it on overnight that's a useful feature to have and it won't provide any distractions this is another shot with the reverse polarity protection again so whatever bay that you put a cell in wrong way around nothing bad's going to happen at all so the display is quite informative and very clear and easy to use definitely a step up from the basic displays which only have possibly only a few led indicators this one gives you a lot more information including how much you've charged into the cell as well as the voltage of the cell so you can quickly see the charge condition of this lithium cell you can see here which um, is partially charged so we know that if you insert the cell on the left side here you get the voltage come up and that one's mostly charged you see it's at 4.15 volts so you'll be able to see very quickly whether or not a cell actually does need charging and the charger is reasonably quick at detecting already charged cells usually within a few minutes it will stop charging if the cells at the maximum of its uh, potential there and you see that the middle dial is showing you the maximum uh, potential charge rate it's not a real-time rate indicator so it'll tell you whether you're charging at the one amp or half an amp or if you have it connected to something else other than a higher output usb adapter it will also tell you what your potential charging rate with that is so there's a way around um, for example using small charge for lithium cells you could actually attach it to um, a low power output and charge them at a lower rate if you wanted to I perhaps would have preferred if you had a choice to do that that's a fairly small point because half an amp is usually sufficient and you can see it will show you how much it has charged into a cell in milliamps an hour so you'll be able to get an idea of the capacity of a cell best to have that fully discharged though at the cell so you'll be able to see how much this charge it's holding it's not as accurate as a discharge test which I do on the XR Dragon that actually discharges the cells so with the smaller lithium batteries I usually use the inner base half an amp charging 14500s of the cr one to 3 as and that's usually a pretty good bet for those cells. I'm testing a zero volt battery now this is one that's been lying around it has no voltage at all so one of the features with the VC4 is you can put it into the charger and you'll see the voltage display here zero volts and it will actually start charging the cell this has a soft start on the charging so it will put a very low current into the cell for about 10 minutes or so and then it will start to progress with its normal charging you can see a normal cell on the uh, next to that on the left hand side and that's coming up at a standard voltage you should find nickel metal hydrides discharged around about 1.1 volts and um, if they go lower than that some chargers won't be able to charge them but this one will it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work perfectly well and you can see here this is the soft start charging just a very low current going into the cells and it's going to count up the milliamps an hour that it's putting in one thing i might have changed is to add possibly a timer with that how long it's taken to charge it could rotate the display but that's a fairly small point to make this is an affordable charger so it's aimed at simplicity and offering enough flexibility so you can charge quite a few different types of batteries and sizes you'll be able to see here with the amp meter connected with pulse charging for nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium cells and that is the preferred method for charging on these batteries and we have constant current constant voltage for lithium and the only time you'll see that change is if it's adjusting the charging output and again that is the ideal method to charge lithium cells and if you have them mixed up all of the channels are independent so it will be able to pulse charge on the, the channel which is using the uh, nickel metal hydride cells termination voltage test now absolutely spot on with this charger coming in around 4.19 to 4.2 can't really ask for any more than that that's absolutely accurate as you can get some charges can be a bit less some can be a bit over and we're getting around about the 1.5 volts for the nickel metal hydride cells again very good um, charge rate on that a very accurate termination 
and testing on another lithium ion cell this does do a trickle charge or a rather a top up charge on the nickel metal hydride cells so they reach their full charge rate after a short period of time in the charger that's fine it does help to keep the temperatures down on the unit when it's charging compared to a delta v type charging Summing up the XTAR VC4, I've used this charger extensively for quite a period of time, um, probably around about a couple of years now I've owned one of these, I've had several, and I've never had any problems at all with the charging on them, very accurate charging and it keeps the cells very cool. So for both nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmiums and lithium ions it's a solid charger. Saying that, a couple of things that I would change, the barrel style connector means that if you lose the cable you'll have to get another one or use the adapter tips. Um, I personally would go with the Type C connector. Also, would include the wall adapter, a USB wall adapter. I think most buyers would like to see that out of the box. Possibly add the voltages for the different lithium ion cells and maybe be able to put more current into a single bay for a fast charge. Would be useful with the higher capacity cells and maybe a lower charge, maybe 250 milliamps for the very small lithium cells. But there's a lot to like with this good termination, the zero volt activation feature, nice intuitive display and very simple operation. So definitely one of the favorite chargers that I've used over the last couple of years in this price point. But do have a look through some of my other video reviews where I've looked at different chargers. So there's different types which might suit users more than others. So thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video review.